Sleepnir is going to be playing Brad. Brad, on the other hand, is very uh, underrepresented character, but incredibly powerful. Uh, considered, actually, I would say by many to be stronger uh, than Lao. But, you know, again, tears don't really matter in VF. It's not really a big deal. Uh, Lao is just so, you know, I don't know, ubiquitous. And that maybe that, that works out against you if you're a big Lao player, but he has, like, a lot of great moves. You can see that um, back turn, evasive stuff he can do. Really cool. Very unique. Ah, uh, esports. Ah, uh, thanks so much but for subscribing. Brad, subscribe. you know, he's no slouch. He actually has the best punish game, I would I would argue, best punish game in the entire game. Out of all the characters, I think that Brad can punish for the most consistent uh, damage, period. Oh, nice. All right. So remember, in VF uh, throws will never beat attacks, and that's what we saw there from our Brad player. He uh, launched right through an attack. This is usually the best response to a throw. Uh, unlike Tekken and some other 3D games where you can break throws on reaction, you can't break throws in VF on reaction. It's a guess only. So uh, the, the best way to really just avoid throw damage in general is to attack when you think your opponent is going to throw. Oh boy, a lot of forward throws. Those are really deadly from Lau. But Lau's throw game in general is really strong, so you don't be surprised to see the same throw landing multiple times. It's very difficult to guess which direction Lau is going to throw. Uh, his forward throw does damage, and it is probably the scariest throw as far as damage goes, but his back throw sets up side turn opportunities where Lau has tons of plus frames and can mix you up for days. You really can actually keep your side turn for a very long time, so I think people are afraid of that uh, back throw as well. Yeah, Jed, I'm definitely trying not to wake people up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little late right now, and I'm, I'm on the yeah. other side of uh, my neighbors over here, so I, I don't want to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but now you can see some hype shit, so who knows? <laughs> I know. It's real better not, not show up tonight. <laughs> my favorite player, if he's in playing tonight, I might be yelling. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to see who our next match is going to be. Oh, looks like we're sticking with uh, the Lao. Is this Pokemon style? Do we know? Don't know. Yeah, we just... It might be. I think this is the same guy versus TSB VF, which is a Sarah player. Sarah also, she's more popular than Brad, I would say, but a little underrepresented. Um, she's very cool for the sense that she actually has a really strong Oki game. She has a stance that's okay, but it's fairly weak on defense. She kind of has to restrict herself to only using it on wake up. Uh, there it is, that's the Flamingo stance. And you can see that TSB is canceling it every time that he notices that uh, his opponent is not waking, is not tech rolling into stuff. Uh, you you kind of have to because it's really weak um, defensively, that stance. But on offense, she is a powerhouse. She can really mix you up. That was a nice crush. Oh, and good stuff. That backflip is really invincible. It's, it's not an actually invincible move, but it has a ton of invincible frame. Very difficult to actually hit. It's one of the only moves like it in this game. In VF, generally speaking, um, defense is not done through avoidance. It's very difficult to avoid taking damage. It's it's better to just, you know, make the guess. And, you know, you can backdash if you think that the, ra the range is gonna be short, but if you make the wrong decision, you're not invincible and you will end up getting a lot of damage. But that uh, that back that backflip from Sarah is one of the only moves like that. Yeah, there it is again. Very useful move. Pretty cool to see um, ESB using it a lot. And actually, I think no, that wasn't a punish. You could tell because of the red flash. Um, red flash indicates counter hit in this game. Nice big combo from Fu. There's the neutral throw. It's the least damaging option, but it's fairly safe to land because most people will not be breaking neutral just because of how little damage it is. Nice evade. Evading stuff on Flamingo is very, very dangerous for Sarah, but Hey, Phoenix was able to regain composure and take control again. Phoenix is really impressive. Total dominance of this entire match. Try again in a few years. All right. So I think that this is Pokemon style. I think that at this point we're going to continue to see TSB Sarah. 
That's that's usually how Japanese VF tournaments go. I haven't actually seen a ton of team tournaments um, online, so I'm not 100% sure how they do it, but I, I believe that's the way that it's going to go. Yeah, it looks like TSB is still in, and uh, Fu set himself to away. I will say, uh, after playing Final Showdown on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 for 10 years, the lobby system in this version of the game is so much easier to run tournaments with. <laughs> uh, oh, really yeah. appreciate that. Oh yeah, yeah. Sega. it's great. Absolutely, yeah, this was some real quality of life shit. Okay, it looks like it's Hiragana de Aoki who's going to be playing, and it's Jackie. This is one of the most popular characters, also one of the strongest characters as well. Um, Lao being one of the more popular characters is actually very interesting because he's not very middle of the road, right? Um, but Jackie is possibly top three. I mean, it's it's almost not even arguable. He's, he's definitely the second best character in this game. He just has a ton of great tools, uh, really good damage, and great mix-up potential. Uh, the only things that he's uh, really lacking are, uh, I mean, in all honesty, he's not really lacking any. Uh, his throw game is a little, leaves a little bit to be desired, but even so, I mean, his striking is so easy to open you up with strikes that kind of doesn't need them that much. All right, here we go. Nice start of the round from uh, TSB. We saw some good stuff, but uh, here we're going to take Aoki. Took that first round pretty handily. Nice, really good stagger from Phoenix. When you see um, the joystick shake icon on the screen, that means that the opponent needs to, uh, ooh, very good. They need to, ah, oh, unfortunate. They need to stagger themselves to, they need to shake the joystick and click on buttons to regain composure of their character. They can be hit during that stagger animation. They also, uh, cannot be thrown so sometimes you mix people up by putting them in that situation waiting for them to break out of it and then grabbing them immediately uh, we'll see if that happens it's uncommon uh, at the higher levels wow really good stuff jackie just blowing through it this is the thing about the uh, the, the rounds go really fast people don't even notice at first but if you haven't been watching the uh, for a really long time take a look at that timer it starts at 45 seconds there's a reason for that Matches very seldomly go longer than 45 seconds uh, for a round. I mean, sorry, rounds. Rounds really seldomly go longer than that. The damage is super high. There's no, um, there's no flawless defense. Like, there's no way to completely avoid all forms of damage. You have to open yourself up. If you're blocking high, you can be thrown. You can get hit by lows. If you're blocking low, can get hit by mids. There's no way around it. If you're evading, you can get hit by half circulars, you can get thrown. There's no perfect defensive te technique. So that uh, that timer is no liar. These matches are short. All right, nice. That's the back throw, I think. Ooh, damn, beat knuckle. Beat knuckle is one of Jackie's strongest tools. It is pretty risky, but... A lot of uh, Jackie players will be throwing it out anyway because it's just so strong. PSB with the throws takes it. You'll never be a match for me. Great play. I mean, one thing that I want to point out is TSB is kind of showing you the textbook stuff that uh, Sarah is just really good at pressure. That's just her whole thing. The fact that she was able to land those three throws you know, forcing the Jackie player to block. It just, you know, and in VF, it's pretty tough to make sure you land throws in, in the first place. You might get hit out, but uh, that pressure is really good. Real, nice noticing the same throw three times. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's because back throw is pretty, um, I believe back throw is actually not a common or not a feared throw for Sarah, not as scary. Her forward throw is pretty good, and her neutral throw sets up insane Oki. So I think most people are... In Japan, I see most people tech to break the neutral. Uh, they're more afraid of the neutral, I think, than, than even the forward. Okay, there's that neutral. Oh, couldn't get anything out of it. Ooh, nice fuzzy. 
Nice. There's the hit throw. It's a fun feature in EF games. Certain throws. Nice. Hard break. Doom, doom, doom. Pressure with elbow. Not that great. Very nice counter hit launch. Sarah has a great counter hit launch. That uh, little back slap, that back, uh, backhand that she does. It's really strong. Ready? It's a very good counter hit punch. It's got the same, pretty similar frame data to a lot of other ones, so on paper it doesn't look that good, but because of the way that she moves, uh, it really, it actually really works out very well. I, it lands a lot. Very nice neutral throw. So, from our WoW player playing very textbook here. All knockdowns and pressure. WoW has a very good pressure game as well. Not the best way of mixing people up, but if you're not solid, if you're trying to do stuff on get on wake up, he will just absolutely blow you up. Got great options. Nice going underneath the guard break. Okay, uh, TSB. Oh, check launch. Elbow. Okay, side. Oh no, side crumple, but didn't confirm it and did some uh, less than optimal stuff. Loses the round because of it. Probably could have gotten a lot more damage. Round four. Ready, go. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, those for the back turn. Getaway stuff. That's that's very unique to allow. He's one of the only characters that can really do stuff like that. Big damage opportunity. Oh no, his combo was messed up. Guff combo did not work out well. But uh, if you ever block a a pounce attack like that it is huge damage problem oh no did not uh punish on the the sweep either a few missed opportunities from both players but uh tsb evens it up that's it somebody's dying here it is pokemon style so somebody is sticking it sticking around and somebody is down for the count teammates have to step in all right, 1KK, common round move. Only works on counter hit, and you can't hit check it, so you kind of have to just pray. Side crumple, okay, he does not mess up. He absolutely gives it a lot of time to make sure that he's gonna be able to get that follow up. You can, you have a lot of time. If you've been playing for a while, and you're not 100% sure about your side crumple, don't worry too much. Um, just put the move out. If you get that side crumple, you can confirm before you do your combo. All right, so, so score now is 2-2. Uh, two, two. two up, yeah. It's yeah, two so, up. So. Forgot to click save to update it. So, uh, so uh, we'll see who's coming up next. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, far, man, I've been... Up. <laughs> What's good? I got me some magic juice, bro. It's got me sorted. That's nice. it, man. Oh, we got another Lau. Oh, no, it's the same guy. Sorry, because he won. And, uh... Mataru, I don't know this, this secure player, but hey man, here is strong, here is good. We'll see some good stuff. One P right out the gate. We know what kind of player he is. <laughs> New one to he's me. Fishing for, uh, yeah, he's fishing for uh, back dash. He's fishing for highs. He's gonna be trying to push the buttons. Let's find out how accurate that is. Yep, oh, there it is. Style of Lau though as well. Shit. Yeah, this Lau is great. This guy played really well. Took out a really strong Sarah. Ooh, there's that one P. He's going for a lot of side turn tech for Oki. Yeah. Oh, damn, this loud. Oh, no. Fucking that's going. too heavy. A little too heavy off of that. Or maybe he waited a little too long off the launch. But I feel like that combo doesn't work on it here. All right, let's go. Damn, string stagger into throw. That shit is so strong with Lau. That, like, Lau really has very little ways to open attacks but he has great ways to open you up four throws just from st string stagger alone nice back throw good movement before too we're gonna go into the wall get the shoulder Reset. okay guard oh, break guard break nice Ooh. man that move is good yeah it was a good catch from all though that is actually a really fantastic move you know on counter hit like that they actually have to beat a back turn mix up Mm. All right, nice. Oh, getting around the uh, guard break. And then I like that he went to Kokai and kind of just made him wait so they mm. can get in for a grab. No, it's not going to work twice. <laughs> well, can't do it twice. Guard break. Yeah, he has optimal shit. Let's go. Oh, side turn. 
Oh, here's that back throw. I was talking about this earlier. That's really dangerous situation. Wow, his back throw is really good. Yeah. Okay, back throw. Not high in damage, that's but it has like good okie subs. Yeah, it's fantastic. Loud that was the damage when he was looking for. Yeah, he was looking to end the round, but he just didn't have enough. But it doesn't matter. Hey, that jump punch. That yeah, actually would have. Tactical department. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, Dra Dragon Quest Tactical Department. You should see some of these names. They're funny as hell, man. I don't know how accurate the uh, translate is, but... The boy is not stepping on the red carpet. Yeah, I, I don't understand that one. But, Absolutely uh, sure, man. Those are the guys fighting them. Tamago style karate dojo. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. Everyone, good evening. That's my favorite. <laughs> I think that's my favorite so far. Italy. Except Italy, Italy no, no is pretty good too. <laughs> Italy no is pretty good too. Oh, uh, someone I, saw it now is fucking around. They're like, nah, we ain't having that today. Yeah, nah, no Italy allowed. Screaming oh, yeah. head. Now we've got a uh, Puyo Sarah. I think this is. No, no, they got they have uh, one more player on their team, so this is not the anchor. But we'll see how it goes. Forward throw right off the bat, big strong stuff. Back oh, throw, no, and now that's the yeah side turn stuff. Oh, that was really cool. That would have worked out great, except uh, Puyo Sarah was willing to push some buttons there. Okay, counter. Yeah, good combo, too. Wow, this guy knows the combos. It's going to be hard. Last while that we saw was not getting. Yeah, he wasn't getting these optimal combos with Sarah. Let's see. Forward throw again, starting it off. Okay, sweet. Oh, Flamingo setup. That was, that was a plus room setup. Okay, nice. Ooh, good duck under there. Nice and danger oh, being ring out. Yeah, ring is, ring is looking scary. But then again, yeah, you have to back off. I mean, come on. Yeah. Lau can ring you out with two different throws. You can't even guarantee. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, he's coming this in with big guy. damage. This guy. Let's call him Flamingo Subs. I know he lost that round, but. He I was. Me. Yeah. Because that, he went into the back, the back turn stance and then dashed towards her to try and just get her to do something to hit with it. That's really, you never see Loud doing that. Okay, there's the evasive stuff, you do see Loud doing that all the damn time. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's guaranteed. Boom, boom, pop. Ooh. Neutral throw, this is the big one. Yeah, look, see, sometimes people just won't even tech because that neutral throw is so scary. Uh, her Oki is so good off of it. Ooh, 3k, yeah, oh. P, there it is. Boom. Nice work. This guy's playing really solid. Round four. Ready, go. Ah, oh, that move is so obnoxious. Now he has the same thing. <laughs> Hers is a little bit better. Oh, baby. Yeah, it's always nice to see Sarah, especially in Japan, because over in the West, we don't tend to see too many Sarah players. Yeah, the ones that we have are like superstars, and then there's only like two of them. <laughs> yeah. Two or three, yeah. But she's definitely... She's a flashy, stylish character. Very powerful um, in the right hands. Definitely has some weaknesses, um, but again, like, see, these guys are going into Flamingo the right way. I think that a big problem is people start playing Sarah. They want to do Flamingo all day, and Flamingo actually kind of sucks. So, oh damn, he's going into it a lot though. But he is going. He's only picking the plus frame option. Nice combo. There's a Flamingo ball, and that was off counter hit too. Damn, nice, good stuff from Puyo Sarah. Keeping, them, keeping the team alive, keeping Phoenix alive. They finally got the Lauer out here. Let's see who else we got on the VF Dragon Quest Tactical Department, you know? I know. No, sorry, I'm speaking funny. I bit my tongue yesterday. No, oh, damn. But I'm like, I fucked up my mouth. And I gotta do golf commentary because I'm afraid of uh, waking up my neighbors, so. Yeah, I don't want to wake up. It's gonna be a while, but. Yeah. <laughs> For those who don't know, this is happening at a kind of fuck time zone for us. It's uh, half past six in the morning here. I think it's like, what, half past one in the morning over there? Yeah, it's one one thirty in the morning. Fuck. Yep. Blow up. Yo, well, yo, once again, if you guys are enjoying, you know, take a second to hit up that Matcherino, guys. You know, uh, um, with, with this tournament, you know, we're, we're still trying to raise ships for a VF Global Showdown. 
So we, we would greatly appreciate if you could help us. Currently at $2.25. Let me see. What I got in my wallet right here? I got 17 bucks. Fuck it. Just throwing that 17 in there. Oh, you uh, yeah, take your uh, check the Twitch app, bro. Try yeah, 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 yeah. I replied just now. Oh, sick. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So now, now we're at $19.50, guys. We still got 41 codes. So don't, don't be lazy, guys. Click away. Watch some dope ass be up. Yeah, we're seeing some Owie over here. Owie's a really fun character. Actually, I think probably more Owie's than Sarah's in the world right now. But, uh, mm -hmm. very fun character. Does not have a ton of nice wall throw. Does not have a ton of, like, great strengths, but she has, like, a ton of really good read base tools, and she has a very unorthodox defensive style that, like, can screw a lot of people up. I think that against more solid players a lot of her tools kind of have to go by the wayside but in general you'll see every once in a while you could pull out once or twice a match and pull out the yin yang stance and just cheese something out Oof, good combo Leo sarah doing the optimal shit side turn pressure nice evade out of the uh yin yang the walls this is good oh i love that little shove that thing is so nice Ooh, did oh, not get, get the combo yeah could have just been a little delay. It's always difficult. Did that come out of back turn at some point? It's always difficult to do turnaround stuff and cancel the screen fast enough to get the bound. I was just trying to do that with Kage earlier, and it's really tough. Okay, here you go. Yeah, there's that hit throw. It's always worth the risk. I know it's minus 13, but that thing is so good. All right, here we go. Ooh, nice fade, and keep her side turn like forever. There you go. Just raw flamingo? Are you kidding me? Oh, Puyo Sarah has a boss hand for real. He's going for it. <laughs> I know. Just raw flamingo in the neutral. Ready, go. Yeah, I'll eat a huge fucking launch. Or I won't. <laughs> Ooh, there's that good stuff. So this is why she's so good. This is why she's so good at Oki. Is because if you don't tech roll against her, like a lot, every character in VF is really strong when you when you tech roll, right? Oh, yeah, good stuff from Puyo Sarah. Every character in VF is really strong when you tech roll, right? She can make you tech roll because if you don't, she can tack on an entire extra combo's worth of damage to you. She's really one of the only characters that can do that. She's really like a ton of damage, and you saw it there. Mm hmm. Yeah, two, two Sarahs so far on this team. Very cool to see the difference in play. Um, our previous Sarah player was not relying on Flamingo a lot, only going for setups uh, in the knockdown situations and actually canceled it a bunch when they saw that the opponent did not tech roll. This this one is doing Flamingo in neutral. We'll see if that uh, see if that uh, pays off. Oh, Higi Lau. Oh, yeah, Higi is really sh <laughs> He's a well-known, strong Lau player. Nice card break. Converse into the wall. Lau, one of the scariest characters at the wall. Guaranteed, I would say Lau, Pai, Kage, they're all really Jeffrey, really strong, scary wall characters. Breaks yeah. the neutral grab. Okay, goes for forward. Good work from Puyo Sera, though. Yeah, 100%. Gets so Higi allows the anchor for this team as well, isn't he? He is, yeah. Whoa! Oh, oh my god, the that's the evasiveness from both players here is fucking insane. Good work from Higi Lau getting that first round though. Puyo, Sarah is really impressing me though. Mm -hmm. That was very impressive. I was not expecting that at all. Nice block on that. I don't actually know if that's punishable on block. I feel like it's only minus eight for a little like uh, low kick to the shins. Okay, that's the forward throw. That's good by the wall. Lots of damage. Really good damage. Wow. Oof. There's neutral, yeah. Round three. Ready, go. Let's see. The round start. Okay, nice. Crouch that shove. Ooh. There's that shoulder. You get a little extra wall conversion damage. Nice. Cool wall combo. Goes for the setup and then cancels it when he sees that there's a tech roll. This is like 
Oof, a word throw, that's gonna be a lot. Oh, no way to punish. That actually could have really been something else. That whiff punish had happened, we could have looked at uh, potentially the round going to Puyo Serra. Alright, play some defense. K oh, PK, but then back dash. That distance was really far. It was tough to commit. But Puyo Serra went for it and he paid for it. Another knockdown. Ooh, good of aid. Yeah, that shit's not airtight. Nice wall conversion. Damn, oh, that's dangerous. Okay, that landed. Good of pressure right there. Round five. Ready, go. Let's see, this is the last round. Somebody's going home. If mm -hmm. Phoenix wins, if uh, Puyo Serra wins this and BT go out, that's it. Ooh, the side turn pressure. Nah, he, he gets out. Wow, his defense is really good. Oh, catches the back dash from King Galar right there. Uh, he's, he's going for that guard break a lot. He went for it again. Yeah, it, it's oh, too much. Oh, the throw. Yeah, absolutely. Too much. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the Zizo, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, this is, uh, this is, uh, streaming live on, uh, YouTube right now. The original source is from Tetsuko. If you want to check out our YouTube channel. There it is right there. Uh, if, if you want to see it in English, check out my YouTube channel as well. Uh, yeah, so Team Phoenix took that over VF Dragon Quest. That was 5-3. Uh, to three. Good stuff, everybody. And they're going to go on 